our heart is an exciting organ. It beats about 72 times per minute. Let's explore how our heart keeps our body alive and thriving. The human heart lies well protected in the chest, behind the ribs and sternum, between the lungs, slightly tilted to the left. To the left and right are the lungs which absorb oxygen from the air we breathe. It's shaped like an upside down pear and is roughly the size of our fist. The heart's task is to pump deoxygenated blood through the lungs and transport the oxygenated blood coming from the lungs into the rest of the body. Now, let's take a closer look at the heart structure. It's divided into four chambers. The upper chambers called the right atrium and the left atrium which receive blood. The lower chambers, the right ventricle and the left ventricle pump the blood out. These chambers are separated by valves which ensure blood flows in one direction and prevent it from going backward. The heart has four key valves. The tricuspid valve lies between the right atrium and the right ventricle. The pulmonary valve controls blood flow from the right ventricle to the lungs. The mitral valve also known as the bicuspid valve, connects the left atrium to the left ventricle. The aortic valve ensures blood flows from the left ventricle to the body. These valves open and close with each heartbeat, creating the familiar lub-dub sound we hear. Now, let's know about the blood vessels. The superior and inferior vena cava brings deoxygenated blood to the heart from the body. The pulmonary arteries carry this blood from the heart to the lungs for oxygenation. The pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood back to the heart from the lungs. Finally, the aorta carries oxygenated blood from the heart to every part of your body. The human heart is a powerful pump and it performs a remarkable process called double circulation. Double circulation means that blood passes through the heart twice during a single complete journey around the body. This ensures efficient separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Deoxygenated blood returns to the right atrium of the heart from the body through the superior and inferior vena cava. The right atrium then contracts, pushing the blood through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. When the right ventricle contracts, the pulmonary valve opens, sending the blood through the pulmonary arteries to the lungs for oxygenation. This is known as pulmonary circulation, the first circuit. Now, the second circuit begins, delivering oxygenated blood to the entire body. Oxygenated blood from the lungs flow into the left atrium of the heart through pulmonary veins. 
द लेफ्ट एट्रियम कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पुशिंग द ब्लड थ्रू द माइट्रल वॉल्व इन टू द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल पंप्स द ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड आउट थ्रू द एटिक वॉल्व इन टू द एटा फ्रॉम द एटा ब्लड ट्रेवल्स थ्रू स्मॉलर आर्ट्रीज आर्टेरोल्स एंड कैपिलरीज टू रीच एवरी सेल इन द बॉडी नाउ डीऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड बिगिन्स इट्स जर्नी बैक टू द हार्ट कंप्लीटिंग द साइकिल